How's it going everyone? My name is Giovanni and today we're looking at the OnCell BD200 OBD2 Bluetooth scan tool. Now OnCell reached out to me and wanted to send me one of these under the terms that I gave it a review. Doesn't have to be a good one, doesn't have to be a bad one. And just so you guys know, anytime I receive a product, I will only take it under the pretense that I can give whatever review I want. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Again, this is the OnCell BD200 Bluetooth scan tool. I've tested it out a little bit. It's got some quirks, but it's a pretty good OBD2 scan tool. I believe an OBD2 scan tool is something that everyone should have, whether you work on cars or not. It's something that you should always have in your garage. It just saves you a lot of time and effort whenever you get a check engine light. So. Let's take a closer look at this device and see if it's worth the money. The OnCell BD200 Bluetooth OBD2 scanner is listed on Amazon for $47.99. Now that's a little bit expensive uh, for an OBD2 scan tool. However, I do see here that there's a 40% extra savings. So after all that's said and done, you're looking at a total of about $30, which actually isn't too bad considering most wired scan tools run about the same price. So keep that in mind. Now the BD200 does come with its own app. As you can see here on the box, it does have those QR codes. And the app is uh, Car Service OBD2 for mobile. And I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, this app could use a lot of work. Um, there's no deal breakers or anything, but overall, the app just needs some work compared to other apps that I've used, other OBD2 scanners. There's a couple things, they're not major deal breakers, but it, it is just kind of annoying. So right now I have my scan tool plugged into my 2010 GMC Terrain. We're gonna go ahead and open the app. Now the app doesn't go into portrait mode or landscape mode, so I can't give you guys that full uh, landscape view. So we're gonna have to look at it ver vertically. So as you can see, I've already connected it once before, so it, it found it right away. Here's the part where this is kind of like the biggest gripe I have with this app. So we get this notification, please complete the vehicle information. I click OK. All it does is pull the VIN. Now, all of this information can be deciphered from this pin. Other OBD2 scanners do that, and I will show you guys that in a second. But this app cannot gather any of that information, so I have to manually go in here and select what it is that we're working on. Also, they don't have Chevrolet or GMC or even Buick, anything like that. They just have GM. So that's a little bit annoying. If you were to ask, for example, like my fiance, she might not know that all of these cars classify as a GM. She drives a Cadillac, she wouldn't know that that's a GM vehicle. The model is a terrain vehicle type. Like, see, you have to go through all this information and it's just kind of annoying. Engine capacity 2.0, fuel type is gasoline. I, and see, like the car weight, I, I have no idea how much this car weighs. So we're just gonna skip that part. I said it as car four, I should have renamed it, but that's okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the OnCell app's features. The first one, the main one, is going to be your diagnostics. This is a general OBD2 scan tool. This is where you're going to be able to read codes and clear codes. That's about the extent of what you can do. So far, I haven't had any issues discovering any codes that I have. Uh, there is a couple other data streams and diagnose report features. Freeze frame also allows you to capture data basically and look at it later. Next, we have our dashboard. The dashboard is a pretty cool feature. It allows you to basically set up a gauge cluster to monitor your PIDs, and you can customize which PIDs you have on screen. Uh, for example, this would be pretty cool on our square body where we have an LS swap and no gauges. Basically anything that the OBD2 can read, you can input as a gauge so you can monitor your data. After the dashboard, we have a flashlight. This is pointless, it just turns your flashlight on and off on your phone. We have our settings. The main setting I changed in here is changing units from metric to English because it was set to metric by default. EVAP system. This feature did not work on my vehicle. I'm not sure what vehicle it's supposed to work for, but I'm assuming it'll give you EVAP codes. The transmission. This one did not give me a ton of information. I don't believe this device can actually read transmission codes, but it just gives a general overview of the transmission. You have DTC lookup. In this, basically, if you pull a, P, a DTC, so for example, a P0101, you could look that up, type it in, and it should give you a code or what the code is. I haven't actually tried it. I'm not sure if it works. The code I looked up did not bring any results. Battery check. This one is kind of a neat feature. You basically cycle the car on and off, and it will read out the lowest voltage, the highest voltage, and the average voltage, so you can do things like test your alternator, see if it's charging, stuff like that. 
your trip. Basically, you start the trip and then it logs data over that given amount of time until you stop the trip and you're able to look back at that data and see, you know, what happened during that trip. Performance tests, similar to the trip, you're basically running either a set time or speed. Uh, so you can do a zero to 60 in this, for example. You can also text your break speed or your break distance. Just, it's kind of cool. It's, you know, a little bit gimmicky, but it's something that you can play with. And then you have your monitor. Monitor is just like a live data stream of what's going on on the vehicle. Most OBD2 scanners have this. This is where you're going to find uh, misfires and whatnot. You can see your spark cables advances while your vehicle is on. And that's about it for the features within the app. The app overall, everything seems to work that's supported. The biggest gripes I have is that it's a little bit slow, slower than I'd like it to be, and that you have to manually input all that information from the beginning on the vehicle instead of it getting all that information from the VIN. So let's move on. So that's the app mostly. There's basic general features. There's a lot of cool features in there. I don't know if I'd use them or not, but here's what I wanted to test with. If you guys aren't aware, there's an app called Torque. This is my little Bluetooth radio I have in my GMC here, but there's an app called Torque, right? And so what Torque does is it is a kind of like a car app for Bluetooth OBD2 scan tools. Um, it's a really nice app. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if Torque will actually be able to connect to our OBD2 reader. So I'm going to test this out. I'm going to turn off the Bluetooth on my phone so it, the reader is not paired to anything. And then we're going to see if this Torque app can actually find that. Okay, so we're not getting anything. I'm going to, I don't think there's any buttons on the device itself to like reset the Bluetooth either. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in just to see if that works. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like it's finding this device, but it seems like it's not gonna be able to find that. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I'll try it on my phone now just to see if I can see it, but I don't think that's gonna be an option for us. So that's a little bit disappointing. This device should definitely be able to be used with Torque because the app that they have isn't the greatest. Okay, so I just tried on my phone here and it looks like the device cannot pair with Torque. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but you know, I guess that's it's just not really made for that. So let's move on to the square body stuff. That's going to be a kind of custom vehicle that has an LS swap in it. That one does have some trouble codes from, you know, some sensors that are not on right now. Uh, so we'll be actually see that. And then we're going to use it as kind of a gauge to test our engine coolant temp sensor. So let's go to that. All right, so we're gonna be using the OnCell BD200 here in our LS swapped 81C20 pickup. What I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and make sure that like we can see our oil pressure and all that stuff, alternator, voltage, things like that, just our basic parameters to make sure that everything's functioning properly on this engine since we don't have any gauges. So I'm gonna go ahead and just screen record my phone while I go through this process. Okay, so we're going to have over to the OnCell app. It says device is connecting, please wait. This obviously isn't the first time that I've paired this device to my phone before, but let's see how it goes on this truck. Our truck is currently on right now. Key on. Okay, it's telling me to wait for a while. I'm going to cancel and then try it again. There we go. So again, the part I don't like about this device is that it should just be pulling the vehicle identification from the VIN. Like that's literally the VIN has all this information. So I'm just going to name this one C20. We're going to do uh, also like, yeah, okay, GM. It's technically Chevrolet, but GM works, I guess. So I am going to have a, quite a few codes on here. I already know uh, O2 sensors, you know, stuff like that. Map sensors unplugged. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go to dashboard, I guess. Um, spark advance. I don't like this dashboard. Let's see. Add to dashboard. Yeah, this app is just overall clunky. I don't like it. Like, now I'm just a car driving through the city. Okay, here we go. Uh, what I want is voltage. Battery voltage. Anything like that. Maybe that won't work. Okay. Well, I guess that doesn't work. Um, monitor. Okay, I would really like to see my battery voltage, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. Battery check, maybe. Okay, so it says 11.95 volts. So, let's go ahead and start our engine. Okay. 
Okay, we lost connection as soon as we started the truck. Okay, we that's fine. We don't need any of that right now. Okay, so it looks like our alternator is charging. We got 13 some volts. That's good. Uh, let's see, what else can we see on here is the question. Yeah, we got a bunch of the typical stuff that I just need to turn off in HP tuners. Um, yeah, all EVAP stuff. Middle controls are get open. That's because I don't have a check engine light on. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's do the dashboard again and just see what kind of data we get. Okay. Yeah, that's all correct. Vehicle speed sensor, let's see if that works. Yeah, it looks like the VSS works. Okay, so all that's looking good. I'm gonna monitor the ECT mostly, uh, but this is gonna work for what I need it for right now. So as clunky as the app seems to be, it, it yeah, at least does its job. So overall, the OnCell BD200 is a pretty good scan tool. It does have those quirks like the app, um, which just isn't as good as it could be, I think. And I've, I've spoken to the manufacturer and they said that they'll look into kind of the VIN issues and like not having to input all your vehicle information in there just to get started. At the price point of just around $30 on Amazon right now, this is actually not a bad deal. You can look and there's other plug-in OBD scan tools you know, there's some probably as cheap as $10, $15, and those are gonna be just basic read engine code tools. And sometimes they don't even read all the engine codes. So this device so far has been able to read some of the more intricate engine codes that I've seen. Um, it doesn't do tire pressure monitoring system. It doesn't do ABS. It doesn't do anything other than just engine codes and possibly transmission codes. But overall, I mean, for 30 bucks, this is something that you could keep literally just plugged into your car's OBD2 port never have to really worry about it. And if you get an engine code, you could just connect it to your phone and look it up right away. There's no driving to your local parts store to have them check the code. There's no taking it to a mechanic, get the information right away, be able to look up that information yourself and possibly save you tons of money on what repairs you need. And that's what's important at the end of the day. You know, a lot of um, people that don't work on cars, they get an engine light and they think it's the end of the world. They you know, we'll take it to AutoZone or one of those places and, uh, or they'll take it to the mechanic and you end up uh, not understanding what the code is. Having something like this, whether it be this one or any other OBD2 scan tool is crucial as just being a car owner. You know, that information is readily, readily available to you, the code, you'll look it up on the internet and it'll tell you pretty much exactly what's going on. You can look at forum posts of other people that have had the same vehicle that have this issue and see what their solutions were. And at the end of the day, that's really what my channel is all about. It's not about spending thousands of dollars on the highest tech equipment. It's about spending 30 bucks to possibly save you thousands of dollars later on. So overall, whether it be the on sale that you buy or another OBD2 scan tool, this one isn't bad for the price. And I think it's worth it in the long run to get one, whether it be 10, 15, $30 like this on sale is. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, as always, you can find me on Instagram at Giovanni Dante, Facebook, facebook.com slash Giovanni Dante Griego, and like and subscribe to this video if you guys want more reviews like this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.